In this video, you'll learn how to use SDA at CHAS to create a crosstab. SDA at CHAS is a platform that researchers can use to access Statistics Canada aggregate and microdata, as well as data from other sources. Users can analyze data online or download data for use in their preferred statistical packages. SDA at CHAS is a licensed platform. Using it on campus should be seamless. However, if you are accessing it off campus, please make sure you go through the proxied link on the UNB Libraries Data Services page. If you are unsure what data you need, you can use the Search All Datasets option, but if you know what you want, you can use the alphabetical jumps or use the Find feature in your browser to search for it. For the purposes of this exercise, I'll use the 2021 Census of Population Public Use Microdata File, or PUMF, the individual file. Always begin by reviewing the documentation of a data file. At a bare minimum, you want to review the user guide to ensure that the data you are using fits your need. The Data Dictionary is an excellent source to find general information about the variables in a survey, the codes for variables, missing value assignments, and frequency counts. The questionnaire is helpful to assess the questions posed to the respondents and how the questions were formulated. There can be many types of documentation available for a given data file, so always review what is available in case you have questions that arise as you are working with your data. The SDA interface allows you to look at the codes, labels, frequencies, and percentages of respondents within a variable without having to go to external documentation. First, expand the variable theme you think you'll need, and then click on the variable of interest. This will populate the selected field. Click on the View button to see more information. For this exercise, I want to look at gender by age group of Canadians between the ages of 0 and 64. By selecting and viewing the age variable AGEGRP from within the demography theme, I can see that there are 22 codes which represent age groups 0 through 85 plus, as well as a code for cases that are not available. I'm only interested in ages 0 through 64, so the codes of interest to me are 1 through 16. By exploring the gender variable from the demography theme, I can see that Statistics Canada has only included two genders, woman plus and man plus. To learn why, I can check the documentation. Now that I have explored the two variables that are of most interest to me, I can create my cross tabulation or table. Since I want to look at gender by age group, I'm going to put gender in the rows and age groups in the column. First, I'll click on the gender variable and then the row button. And then I'll click on the age group variable followed by the column button. This changes the look of the table builder view on the right hand side of the page by adding gender to the row field and age group to the column field. But wait, I only want people between the ages of 0 and 64, so I have to tell SDA that I want to restrict the valid range of age groups to codes 1 through 16, as I discovered in an earlier step. I can do so by adding the codes in parentheses directly after the variable name. It will look like this, A-G-E-G-R-P, parentheses 1-16. Now that my table is set up, I can change some of the options for my output, percentages, confidence intervals, etc. I want to include the unweighted frequencies as well as the weighted frequencies. So I'll check the box for unweighted N. 
and finish by clicking on the button that says Run the Table. I'm presented with information about what the program has done as well as the results in tabular and graphic form. The information at the top of the page tells me what variables are in the rows and columns and that the weight variable is on. Within the cells of my cross tab, I can see that the first number represents the column percent. The second number represents the number of cases from the sample. And the third number represents the weighted frequencies. Note, generally when working with microdata, you need to be careful to ensure your unweighted counts are sufficient to apply the weight variable. But for this exercise, I know I'm okay. I can find the release guidelines in the user documentation, of course. The stacked bar chart visualizes the tabular data from above. And the allocation of cases table at the bottom of my screen tells me that by limiting what age groups I wanted, I have reduced the number of valid cases from 980,868 to 801,061. When I'm ready to look at the same table at a provincial level, I'll use the selection filter option. By exploring the PR variable from the geography theme, I'll be able to select the province or region of interest to me. In this case, I'm interested in the territories, but my only option is Northern Canada or code 70. The documentation will tell me why Statistics Canada had to make this choice. To run my table for Northern Canada, I'll get out of my variable description window, confirm that PR is still in the selected field, and click the filter button. This moves it over to the table setup side of the screen where I'll now add my valid range limitation, 70. I'll hit run the table and look at my results. I can see that some of my cells have some pretty low counts of unweighted cases. But this is to be expected, given that I have reduced my number of valid cases from 900,000 to under 3,000. Perhaps I should consider temporarily recoding my age groups, but for now, I'm pretty pleased at what I'm seeing. I'll save the recode for another time.